chronic wasting disease continues to spread in Missouri's deer. The Department of Conservation found 16 new cases last season. We always hoped that we wouldn't find it in some additional spot, but now that we have, our focus is on trying to determine what the prevalence and distribution of the disease is. Officials added eight mid-Missouri counties to the CWD control area after a buck in Cole County tested positive for the disease. To help thin out herds, hunters in the control area won't face any antler point restrictions. Hunters can also get two firearm antlerless deer permits instead of one. Sumner says CWD is hard to track because of how it's spread. They are primarily transmitted in the deer-to-deer -deer contact, those things like social grooming that occurs on a regular basis, and then environmental contamination. So if they feed it the same spot or a mineral lick or something like that, then they can transmit the disease indirectly. A deer can carry and spread the disease for up to 18 months before symptoms set in. Sumner says hunters should not move deer carcasses out of the immediate hunting area. Conservation personnel will take tissue samples during the November firearm season. How long it takes to work our way through this process is a great unknown for many people dealing with chronic wasting disease. Again, what we know is this thing just continually increases in prevalence and spreads to the point where it will lead to eventual population declines. Sumner says it's too soon to predict CWD's economic impact. In Columbia, Garrett Bergquist, KRCG 13.